So you put your fist through a wall, didn't you? Well, I'm going to help you guys. <laughs> so I didn't put my fist through here. But today I'm going to show you guys how we're going to fix this hole in the drywall. All right, so stick around. Alright guys, so you had a little accident, somehow you got a hole in your wall, right? You're moving out, and now you gotta fix it. So, today I'm gonna show you how. You can see, my wife tried to fix it, because I didn't. <laughs> so, what happened here was, we tried to run the cables down this wall for the TV, but we had a pipe running through here for the bathroom, so we weren't able to do that. And then I just forgot about it and I left the hole open forever. So today I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to close this up the fastest way possible and probably the easiest way possible for if you're a renter or a homeowner and you want to try to do it yourself. So let's get started. Here's what I'm going to use. All right. So I got a trash bag here and this is what I'm going to use to cover the floor so that I don't get my carpet all dirty and my trim. Painter's tape. Sanding block five minute joint compound or mud and we're going to attempt to match the texture with this texture can i know it's orange peel and this is what we call a knockdown but i think we can get it heavy enough to where we can just knock it down and match and then for tools all i'm going to be using is a spatula drywall tray oh and then the most important part of this is going to be a drywall patch repair all right so this is a patch and they sell these at Home Depot at Lowe's I think even at Walmart but this comes in handy when you have small holes like this and yes it's better if you were to change the entire piece of sheetrock but really who has a piece of sheetrock at home who who has a big piece of sheetrock laying around the house or who wants to go buy a whole sheet or a two by two piece just to fix the little hole that is two inches, right? So these come in different sizes. This is a four by four. They also come in, I believe six by six and eight by eight, up to eight by eight. So these are real simple to use. You take it out, put it on top and you mud it. So let's go ahead and get this done. Let's get this taped off and ready to go. At this, we're going to take our patch, this is what it looks like, it has metal and then it has the mesh tape and this is self-sticking self so it's sticky on the back side, boom. You want to make sure it sticks on there. Oh, looks good. Looks better already. Next, we are going to take our five minute. Look, Cheeto. Next, we are Come going on, to Cheeto. take our joint compound, five minute mud, and mix it with some water. Make sure you only mix a small amount that you can use because this does have a five minute working time, so it dries pretty quickly. Alright, so we just did a light first coat and we'll let that dry. Alright guys, so I just have this wet microfiber rag and I'm going to do the edges. Right now while it's still fresh. Move Cheeto. Play with that one. Oh, the 
off the edges. All right, and we'll let this dry a little more before we do another coat on it. Oops. All right, guys, my bad, I forgot to record. I thought I hit record and I did not, but I just mixed my mud for the second coat and just spread it on there. I guess I'll do it again and show you guys. <laughs> so, just boom. And of course you have to go a little bit bigger than what the actual hole is. This, you're gonna sand this down and then the texture so you can hide it. And we'll let that dry. All right guys, we're going to do the edges again with the microfiber cloth. This has been drying like 10 minutes. Um, and actually I'm gonna go ahead and sand with the rag. See, so it's still fresh. It's hard to touch, but it's still fresh. We'll let that dry and then we'll do a dry sand. All right guys, what is up? We are back. We let this dry overnight. Um, all the work yesterday took about 20 minutes tops. Um, and then we just let it dry overnight. Um, I wet sanded, so there's not much sanding to do, but I'm gonna do a quick little sand and then we will texture it and that's all that's left. And then the paint, we're not gonna do the paint because we're gonna go through and paint most of the house later on before we move out. So I'm gonna show you guys. So again, we are trying to do this to show a homeowner that doesn't have a hopper gun, that doesn't have a compressor or even one of the small texture guns um what they can do what you can do so i have this here and my texture is knockdown but i've used this before to do knockdown i'm just gonna set it on the lowest setting so i can get bigger blobs and let it sit for a little bit and then i'm going to knock it down with the spatula but this is supposed to be for orange peel I can't find the oil based knockdown stuff anymore, which that one worked all right. But the orange peel one's always worked well. So, we'll show you guys right now. And I'm gonna go over a little. Hopefully, I don't hit this right here. If I do, I'll wipe it down. All right, so. I'm gonna. First, you pop this part off the front take this pull out this red little hook from the back and then on here you have your settings here fine medium fine over here medium and heavy so I'm gonna set it all the way on heavy and then the pressure, this is the pressure. And the higher the pressure, the smaller the particles are gonna be. So I'm gonna go ahead and lower it. And then I'm gonna shake this for a couple of minutes. All right, and you gotta shake this upside down for a minute. Let's go ahead and spray this. I'm gonna spray from a little farther back. So we've sprayed it, sorry, we've sprayed it and we're gonna let it sit for about five minutes before we knock it down. All 
all right guys there is the texture repair um it took honestly it could have been done in two hours i just let it dry overnight and it's not exactly the same as this because it's not because <laughs> it wasn't sprayed through a big texture uh, gun or a hopper gun um so it's a little bit smaller it's not exactly the same but like i said this is for the homeowner that either you got a small repair or you're moving out and you're trying to fix something before you move i spent like 16 dollars on the texture can three dollars or four dollars on the uh patch and like eight dollars on the mud for it so around thirty dollars for the whole repair versus what it would cost you to get a handyman or somebody out to do it or what the landlord or apartment would charge you so i'm not gonna paint it because we're gonna paint the house later on in the next couple of weeks but thanks for watching guys hit that like that subscribe and we'll see you guys next week